I'm Anthony Hudson. I'm director of Hudson Architects. We've been working on this house for Oh, I think about four years. It started off as a research project, which is funded by the European Union, with lots of really, really great partners from Plymouth and from France. So it was a sort of international project. And what we're trying to do here is sort of a, it's a modern take on a very ancient tradition of earth building. 50% of the world's population still live in earth buildings. But we've sort of lost contact with that in, in the West. And occasionally we've gone back to a bit of earth building, but it sort of has fallen out of favor. And this is really, really surprising. The whole purpose of this was to showcase how you could bring it into the 20th century. And one of the things about the research project is that we kind of wanted to focus on how we could make a earth building perform in the ways that a lot of modern buildings perform, which are low energy in operation. All these materials are very, very local. I mean, our clay for the insulative layer comes from King's Lynn, which is very, very close. And the cob comes straight out of the ground from uh, Deerham. My name is Daniel Grocott. I'm Managing Director of Grocott & Murfitt. We are the owner of the cobbage, as well as the builders who carried out the construction work. Um, we saw it as a new initiative that we wanted to be involved in. We've been involved from design right through to completion. Learned a lot along the way. It was something completely new for us, but keen to be involved in and keen to do again. We've sort of done a little portfolio of um, details and it's all open source. All our details are accessible on the internet, can be found um, under the name Coboge, that's uh, C-O-B-B-O-U-G. Coboge is a mixture of um, French and English words for earth building, Cob, the southwest tradition, and Boge, the French tradition of building with earth. That's where the name comes from.